Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com where we instantly improve the lives for families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can have peace of mind, real power, real control and so that you can influence decision making real fast even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered and in last week's episode I answered another question from one of our readers and the question last week was part one of my partner is in intensive care after he fell down a cliff with his truck. He has a brain bleed and is not waking up. How severe is his brain damage? Part 1. You can check out the answer to last week's question by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's episode of Your Questions Answered, I want to answer another question from one of our readers and the question this week is from the same reader. My partner is in intensive care after he fell down a cliff with his truck. He has a brain bleed and is not waking up. How severe is his brain damage? Part 2. So, Jessica writes, Hi Patrick, thank you so much for your previous response and for the Skype session. My partner hasn't had any surgery for his hip or his back. The hip has a block in between his legs to keep it still and for pain therapy. The back will need a brace for about 6 weeks. The ICU doctor said nothing about brain damage and I was there when the neurologist who told us about the bleed asked my partner to obey simple tasks such as squeezing fingers and poking out his tongue and he did all of that. I will ask his brother to ask the ICU doctors again about possible brain damage and the bleed. He still has the breathing tube in and they are all saying that he'll stay on the ventilator at least for a few more days until he's more settled. I appreciate all the links to the articles you've sent as well and everything else on your website. I have also told my partner's brother about your website. Do you think my partner will need intensive care for a long time? Four weeks maybe? We are at nine days today. You are providing such a great service. I'm so appreciative. I'll be in touch when I find out more about the CT scans. Another question that I have is that I heard somewhere patients who are in induced in a coma in ICU have terrible ongoing nightmares. Is that true? Many thanks from Jessica. Hi Jessica. Yes, intensive care patients can have terrible nightmares during or after they stay in intensive care, especially if they have been induced in a coma. Most of the time they don't remember much of their ICU stay though. Check out this article or video again for more clarity. Does my critically ill loved one in an induced coma or with a head injury feel my presence? You can find a link to this video and article below this video in the written version of this blog. You can also check out icusteps.org a UK based support website for, for ex-ICU patients. It's good to hear that your partner is following simple commands. That could be a sign of him having no brain damage. I can't give you an exact time frame for how long your partner will be in intensive care. However, it sounds like you should plan at least for a good couple of weeks. He needs to clear up his pneumonia first and they need to manage his withdrawal from alcohol as well. Being critically ill in intensive care means being patient and taking one day at the time. Nothing happens fast in critically ill patients in intensive care, especially not after multi-trauma and alcohol withdrawal. It's not a good combination and it needs specialist care and management. If I have learned one thing in more than 15 years intensive care nursing in three different countries where I have literally worked with thousands of critically ill patients and their families, it's that it's often two steps forward and one step back. Here are a few more links to articles and videos that will help you to put things in perspective. The links to the articles and videos are What is an induced coma and why is my critically ill loved one in an induced coma? And the other video and article is How long can you keep a critically ill patient in intensive care in an induced coma? Click on the links to those articles and videos below the video. And of course you can forward any information to your partner's brother. Keep me in the loop and we can continue our Skype consultation. Skype or phone tends to be better as I can answer many of your questions quickly as my time is limited due to so many client requests. Otherwise there may be a delay in answering your questions. 
take care. So, how can you get peace of mind, control, power and influence quickly whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care? You get to that all-important feeling of peace of mind, control, power and influence when you download your free Instant Impact Report now by entering your email below. In your free Instant Impact Report, you learn quickly how to get peace of mind, real power and real control and how you can influence decision making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free Instant Impact Report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free Instant Impact Report now by entering your email below. In your free Instant Impact Report, you learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report, you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions. Discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. 5. Mind-blowing tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to peace of mind, control, power and influence in your situation. You'll get real-world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one's situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You'll get crucial behind the scenes insight so that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered and I'll see you again in another update next week. Make sure you also check out our blog section for more tips and strategies or send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions or you can call us find phone numbers on our contacts tab. Also check out our product section where you get more ebooks, videos and audio recordings and where you can also get one-on-one -on -one consulting with me via Skype or over the phone by clicking on the products tab. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareOutline.com and I'll see you again next week in another update.